Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the various methods of protoplast isolation. So without any delay, let's start the video. Isolation of protoplast. So isolation of protoplast means how we can get the protoplast from plant. So protoplast can be isolated from any plant part like from root, leaves, fruit, tuber, root nodule, etc. Means every living part of the plant, it contain the protoplast. So how we can isolate that protoplast? So for the isolation of protoplast, generally we follow two method. First is the mechanical method and second is the enzymatic method of protoplast isolation. So first is the mechanical method of protoplast isolation. Here we do not use any kind of enzyme. We just mechanically isolate the protoplast. So for this, we follow the following steps. Like first of all, the plant tissue has been taken from which we have to isolate the protoplast. Then this plant tissue is now treated with one molar sucrose solution, which ultimately cause the plasmolysis of this cell. After plasmolysis, now we just microscopically observe the cells and after observation under the microscope, we very carefully cut the cell wall of the cells with a knife because it's a mechanical method. So here we make the use of knife to cut the cell wall. A very skill is needed for this task. And once the cell wall has been, you can say removed or cut it with this knife. Now we have the protoplast. So these released protoplast will be isolated. But as it's a mechanical method, so it has a drawback that the person should be highly skilled in order to cut the cell wall with a knife because there are very chances to damage the cell during cutting of cell wall with that knife. And when the protoplast has been released, so we can simply collect the protoplast for the culture. Second is enzymatic method of protoplast. Here, we use certain enzymes that degrade the cell wall. As we know, the cell wall is consists of cellulose and the two cells, they are in contact with each other by middle lamella, which is formed of pectate substances. So here, we make the use of generally three enzymes, first pectinases, and then cellulase and hemicellulase, which are used to digest the cellulosic and hemicellulosic components of cell wall. Like, and in case of enzymatic method, we generally follow two types of procedure. First is simultaneously or one step method. Here, all of these enzymes, they are used in one step. Like we can use both enzymes, that is mesial enzyme or pectinases and cellulases in one step. While second way of doing this enzymatic method is a sequential or two-step method where the tissue is first treated with the pectinase, then the cells are separated and these separated cells are now treated with cellulase to release the protoplast. Means in the two-step method, first we use pectinase, then cells are separated, then cells are treated with cellulase. So in case of one step, we use all of these enzymes in a one step while in case of two-step method, we use these, these enzymes step by step. So by this, we can enzymatically isolate the protoplast. So this is the complete procedure of enzymatic method of the protoplast isolation. Like first we take the leaf after sterilization, we remove its epidermis. Then we can either perform simultaneously or one step method as I told or two step method. So in case of one step method or simultaneous method, so the plasmolyzed cells, we have taken the plasmolyzed cells and now we give both enzymes that is pectinase and cellulase in one step. That's why it's known as the one step method. So both the enzyme pectinase and cellulase are added at the single step and which ultimately results in the release of protoplast. And these release protoplast, they are isolated. Now, in case of sequential or two-step method, so again, we take the plasmolyzed cells and first we add the one of the enzyme that is pectinase. It will degrade the pectin substance of middle lamella and ultimately separate the cells. Then these released cells or isolated cells are now treated with cellulase enzyme. 
this cellulose will degrade the cell wall which is made up of the cellulose so after degradation of cell wall now we have protoplast that is released protoplast which can which we can isolate it so by these two method either one step or two step method we can isolate the protoplast by making the use of enzymes that is pectinase and cellulase so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much